They said they'd rather go to jail than die without Medicaid, and that's where they are tonight. A nearly a dozen people with disabilities protested at Senator Cory Gardner's Denver office for more than 48 hours, and in just the past couple of hours, it came to a dramatic end. Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Andrew Heal. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen was there as each one of those protesters was taken away. And Jacqueline, you just got an update from police. Uh, we got the final tally. Ten protesters were arrested here at Senator Cory Gardner's office tonight. This was an incredibly dramatic scene with people with severe disabilities who've been camping out here since Tuesday morning, protesting for their lives and their health care, and they were placed under arrest. Again, there were 10 people who were arrested. Police led them out with zip ties on their hands. They were pushing their wheelchairs out, placing them under arrest. The primary charge is trespassing. Now, Senator Cory Gardner's office at first said that they would not uh, have these people arrested, but Denver police say they filed a complaint today uh, because of the lease in their building, and that's why officers came out here. Officers say they gave the, the protesters a chance to leave on their own when they didn't. They said they took every precaution to try to remove them safely. These are disability rights advocates who say that their lives and their health care, their Medicaid, is in jeopardy because of the new Republican Republican health care bill. Now, Senator Gardner's office tells me the building's owner here required them to have police come because of the protests inside the building were in violation of the lease. They say a Gardner staffer has met with or held telephone calls with individuals from the group protesting here 16 times since January, and they met with Senator uh, Cory Gardner in person earlier this year. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. All right, Jacqueline, thank you. And thousands of you watched those arrests live as they happened. Jacqueline Allen had this live streaming up on Facebook as the protesters were being taken into police vans tonight. And we also shared it to the Denver 7 Facebook page. And the protesters who were not arrested tell us they will be back tomorrow morning to protest again.